Coming up on Aggie Sports Overtime, a pair of five and one teams face off at Kyle Field. Some breathtaking touchdowns, some head scratching defense, a heart stopping injury, and a jaw dropping ending. From the gridiron to the hardwood, the Aggie basketball team's getting ready for the beginning of year number two in the SEC. The men start life without Elston Turner on the court. And in the pool, a heated rivalry renewed in Aggie land as the swim team hosts Texas. We're diving into another edition of Aggie Sports Overtime, and it starts right now. Welcome to Aggie Sports Overtime. And now, here's Luke Simons and Chris Vallejos. A busy week and a surprising Saturday in Aggieland. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Luke Simons with Chris Vallejos. When the schedule came out, it seemed like the Aggies' biggest challenges would be at home against Alabama and road games against Ole Miss and LSU. But Auburn came to Kyle Field 5-1, ranked 24th, and wanting revenge for last year's 63-21 beating at the hands of A&M in front of their fans. It was a maroon out for those this afternoon. Today at the game, just over 87,000 in attendance. And quite a shot there. First quarter, Aggie strike first. A quick pass from Johnny Manziel to Mike Evans. Evans gets some blocking out front, takes it to the end zone. 26-yard touchdown. There'll be a lot of that today. Seven to nothing, Aggies. Auburn, Auburn comes right back. Quarterback Nick Marshall can't find anyone down the field. Decides to tuck it and run. He goes 16 yards, ties the game at seven. Next, Aggie drive. Manziel fakes the handoff. Throws and this one is intercepted by Ryan Smith. The Auburn offense would score a field goal after that turnover to make it 10 to 7. Aggies get the ball back. This time they toss it out to Evans. Unbelievable. Watch Evans this time on the outside. There he goes. 64 yards later. AM back in front, 14 to 10. Now late in the first quarter, the Aggies get to the Auburn 24. Manzel in trouble. Looks like he might run. Instead, he's going to throw the ball across the field once he decides to stop running, of course. The Tigers intercept it. Ryan White this time with the pick. In the second quarter, the ensuing Auburn drive, Nick Marshall scrambles, hits Quan Gray, and the Tigers take the lead right back, 17 to 14. A&M would tie it at 17 with a Josh Lambeau field goal, then with 36 seconds left in the half. Manziel to who else? Mike Evans again. This time he tiptoes down the sideline, gets into the end zone. The replay would show that Evans was in as we slow it down. He had five catches, 182 yards in the first half. Aggies lead 24-17 at the break. 